Having this true curiosity on the Randy Show. Let's let's talk about a franchise who's who I love and desperately want them to win for their fans. RCB, why don't they win? I think Ambati made a point about this a few weeks, uh, a couple of weeks ago, about all their experience is at the top. Mm. Where is the experience when you need it at the crunch moments? Where is the experience when you need it? Um, when you need to sacrifice your own, say, agendas for the greater good of the team. Now everybody knows it's not it's it's common known common knowledge that uh, Bangalore is the second highest uh, altitude like second highest uh, height wise um, altitude wise in the world after Joburg. That's eight hundred fifty meters above sea level. So if you hit a ball in the air, it stays hit. Mm. It's a known fact. Every all all the cricketers know it, right? It's a great wicket to bat on. It's a small ground, right? So how do you make this difficult to score runs? That should be the case. Like how did KKR win in 12 and 14? They made it so hard for visiting team to score runs on there. They were like, we'll win, dude. And they built their team around the conditions. They built their team around the conditions of the ground. Spinners came into play. So who were the spinners at that point? Piyush Chavla, Sunil Narayan, Shakib Al Hassan. All of these guys, right? I'm, I'm Kuldeep Yadav, I may be missing a few more. All of these guys are spinners. They built the team around the conditions that were there. Now, if RCB do something as si simple as having the experience where they need to have it, creating conditions for visiting teams to score, like where it's hard for a visiting team to come out and win, they'll have results much more in their favor. See, the, the science of winning the IPL is you have seven games at home, you have to win five of the seven. You have seven games away, try and win three and four out of that. You have... 5 to 9 wins, sorry, 8 to 9 wins, you qualify to the back end of the tournament. Back end of the tournament, anything can happen. Totally unpredictable? It's totally unpredictable. Okay. Uh, the only predictability comes if you're playing in your home when you're away, when you're, you know, where you're playing. If you were in charge of RCB, with that particular ground, which is small, which is at a high altitude, what would your move be as the management? Like you'd go for bowlers with low economy rates, traditionally? I would go and uh, beg... First, I would beg uh, UZ to come back. <laughs> right? I would do anything, go through hell and high water to bring UZ back from uh, RR, make amends with him. Um, uh, I would maybe even go and bring Harshal Patel back and prepare wickets that are conducive for bowlers like that to succeed. Right? Because look at the caliber of batters you have there. You have a Faf Duplessis, you have a Virat Kohli, you have uh, Glenn Maxwell, 50-50. Uh, uh, you have uh, Dinesh Karthik there. They've had such great cricketers, such great batters who've come through the ranks. AB played for them, Chris Gale played for them, Travis Head played for them, let them go. Shane Watson played for them, let them go. Uh, these are the foreigners I'm talking about, right? Klassen played, Klassen played for them, let them go. Okay. And then comes, let, let's come to the Indian cricketers. Uh, Manish Pandey, myself, KL Rahul, Karun Nair, Mayank Agarwal, Devdat Padikal. All local boys, they let all of them go. Do you know who the highest scorer for RCB is after Virat Kohli? It's probably the KL. No. It's Rahul Dravid. <laughs> wow. Crazy, right? But it tells you a story, mm. right? And I think if you move from that narrative and say, okay, a Virat Kohli, irrespective of his wicket spinning or not spinning or flat or not flat, he will score runs. He knows how to score runs. So he'll score. So you don't need a 180. You don't need a... Like you may... If, if you get... Like in KKR, when they won championships in 2012 and 14, 170 was a winning total. Right? During day matches, 170 is winning... 150 was winning total in day matches. Night matches, 170 is winning total. Same say... Here, your 170, your 170 will become 190. 150 will become 170. Mm. You'll still score. Because the elevation of the ground, the the size of the ground will make it a high scoring ground. But you have to make it harder to score runs. And RCB aren't doing that. Very amateur level, invest a lot more in bowling. Yeah. And retain. Invest a lot more in bowling and your invest a lot more in finishers. Like not when I say finishers, I mean invest a lot more in your middle order batters. Mm. And like sustain those players for a long time. Exercise faith. They don't exercise security. Look at the number of players that have played for RCB in this 
IPL. This IPL, I think already about 20 players have played. Mm. So it's scored a 25. Yeah, I think the other criticism... Again, it goes back to security, insecurity. Mm. You create security within the group, they, perf- they, they, they go out there for performances. You create insecurity without, within a the group, they go out there for survival. If you enjoyed this clip from the Ranveer show, we've uploaded a ton of other clips related to a ton of other topics. So explore the channel because there's something for everyone.